Well, I missed five missed calls from a text now number to my alias Penny while I was dealing with the other guy. And I'm pretty sure that it's Bobby Miller. Oh Lord, here he's calling. Let's see if it's him. Hello? Hello, welcome, good day. Uh, am I speaking with Mrs. Bailey, Penny Bailey? Yeah, this is her. Yes, uh, this is Officer Stevens from the FBI agency. How are you doing today, ma'am? I'm fine. How are you? Yes, I'm doing pretty great. Uh, this call is in regards to uh, some uh, fraudulent activities that have been taking place on your account. I've seen where uh, your social security has been uh, trying to op open uh, multiple accounts a few weeks ago. Um, I know that my... Um, Is that so? I know that I stopped it. I um, had somebody that was trying to open a credit card in my name and I got that stopped and then... Yeah. And yeah, then I had to make a, a and I had to make a police report and an FTC report, and I yeah. got and I locked down all, so nobody can do anything because I already froze all my credit reports the very day that happened. So nobody can apply for anything in my name now. Not right now, they can't. Well, well, Mrs. Bailey, that is some big problem in our office today. All right. Okay. I've seen where uh, I've seen where nothing has been closed down in your name in your name. Oh, no, it has, sir. I uh, check it every single day. My credit reports, all three credit reports are frozen. Nobody can is, sign is up for there, anything. Is there someone using your account or something, your social security? No, I, they can't. They're, they can't do it. It's locked down. TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, they're all locked down. I have to provide a code. I can't even provide, I, I can't even apply for anything in my name. Not, oh, not unless it's unfrozen. Oh. Well, I'm seeing, I'm seeing where your, your, your social security has been trying to open a PayPal account alongside with a credit card account and a bank account, all right? Well, they should have been and stopped. I'm, seeing, I'm sure I'm they were... Seeing, I'm, seeing where, I'm seeing where nothing has been stopped. So that is the reason that I tried to get a hand off you. Well, I already checked this morning and they're all still frozen. So when did, this, when did this happen? This happens like two weeks ago, all right? Well, I froze everything. So you're saying, you're saying that you're, you've closed down everything. Nothing has been closed down, all right? And I'm seeing, I'm seeing where uh, if you do not, uh, we can clear up everything for you, but it's going to take a clearance fee, all right? And if this fee doesn't take care of, uh, all the FBI is going to be a target on you, all right? What does that mean, a target on me? I'm a victim of identity theft. Yes, uh, you're a victim of identity theft. That doesn't mean you cannot be locked up of being engaged in some fraudulent activity. All right? We don't, we don't know if, it, if it's you or someone else that's been uh, opening such uh, so, some more account on your name and your social security. I don't know, all right? So that is the reason that uh, everything has to be Well, okay, up. sir. Okay, sir. If you go back two weeks, you will see there's a report on file with the FTC. There's a report on file with my local sheriff's department. Yes, I've seen that. I've seen that, but I'm then saying that. Then you can't say you don't know that. You can't say, down. then you can't say you don't know that I didn't do this. You know for a fact I did not do this. I, I cannot tell, ma'am. I'm seeing you're, uh, you're, you're in big problem now. A big problem? Right. I'm just here to help you. That is the reason I called you before everything tried to escalate. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Do you know Bobby Miller? Do you have anything to do with Publishers Clearinghouse or any of that? Do you know any of those people? No, 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 no. Nothing like that, all right? Because I, somebody tried I to scan me. The, uh, from okay. the FBI agency. This is Mr. Stevens. This is Officer Stevens. What's your first name? James. James Stevens. Okay, I'm glad I've got yeah. that. Do I need to call my All local right. sheriff's department? Well, uh, could you repeat that for me? I said, do I need to call my local sheriff's department? 
No, no, nothing like that. We are the FBI agency, all right? We can take care of everything that has been done on your account. So that is the reason that we call. What is it that exactly right. that you're wanting to do? Because I know for, I would, if somebody tried to apply for something in my name, I would then notify instantly. Like a ringing of a doorbell. Yeah. I know that, all right? I know that. I, there, there have been a lot of scamming activities and a lot of fraudulent activities been taking place all over the world, all right? So I know that. So I have been a victim of identity theft. Everything has been marked. If anybody tried to apply for anything, I would instantly be notified in that very second. There would be no what delay. I'm simply saying, what I'm simply saying, Mrs. Bailey, that everything is in your name, all right? It's not in other people's name. It's in your name. You're the one can be locked up for this. It is going to cost you if everything does not clear up in time, all right? That is the reason that I called you today to notify you about all those fraudulent activities been taking place on your account. Well, I don't believe, I'm sorry, security. sir, but I do not believe you because I know everything has been locked down. It's not possible. Could you repeat that for me? I said I know this is not true because everything is locked down. It's not possible for anybody to open anything in my name. Period. Nothing. I can't even talk to the IRS online. I have to call them because everything's locked down. I'm not allowed to access anything because everything is frozen. Right. Okay, I understand, all right? You obviously don't. Again, I'm just scrolling down on your file right now, all right? And I'm seeing where you've engaged with the the uh, publisher's turns out. And I've seen where uh, you, you, you've spoken with the agent, but I can tell, I cannot see the name of the agent that Bobby Miller. Of. Bobby Miller. That's who it was. He was trying to scam okay. me. Okay. Okay. Let me search up his name. Mm-hmm. I just put him on mute. Can you believe this guy? I was warned that he would try to call back, but they... where is he on. from? I'm sorry? Where is he from? He, he lives in he, he lives in Jamaica. He even admitted he was scamming me. Sorry. I said he lives in Jamaica. He even admitted Jamaica. he was scamming me. Yes, sir. So that means that you're involved in many scamming activities, then. It means that somebody has sold my information. Is what's happened. Due to a data breach or, or, or other scammers, other scumbag scammers. So, well, I, here, here's your information. Well, Go try to get them. I know how it works well, now. Bailey, I see where uh, on my database that you have, to, you have to clear up everything that has been done on your information. There's been nothing done right. on my information, sir. Nothing has been done. It's not possible. Could you repeat that for me? Oh my god, I said it's not possible. Nothing has been done under my name since I've frozen anything. Nothing has Mrs. been done. Billy, Mrs. Bailey, I don't want you to be locked up, alright? I'm not going to be locked up. I don't, I'm not up. even worried about it, sir. I am the FBI agent. My name is Mr. Stevens. Did you forget your first name? It was James. James Stevens, alright? Mm-hmm. I don't want you to be locked up. I'm here. I'm not to worried help about it. I won't today. be locked up. I'm not worried if about it. If you clear up everything by today, the the IRS and the FBI agent won't come over to your residence. All right. I already spoke to the I IRS. I already, I already, I just got done you. speaking to them because I just did my taxes. I talked to them yesterday. They were the ones that told me it's like they were saying, "Oh, we're so sorry, you're a victim of identity theft." But just so you know, you can't log in to the to the website to make any changes. You're going to have to call us or unfreeze your account. I can't even do anything. I'm limited on what I can do. It was a terrible, drastic step, but it met, but it locked everything down so that no thieving scumbag can try to hurt me. Did you hear that? I understand. I understand you. All right. I understand. I know the identity theft department. And I know all of them, all right? But we are the FBI agent, okay? And if you do not clear up everything by today, we would have our agents come over to your residence today. Okay, right? send them. Go ahead and you send them. I dare you. I dare you to do that. Send them. Right now, do it.
descendant because I'm done with this. I already know I'm that in, nobody can open it up. I'm in where all of your information has been used to open PayPal. No, they hasn't. No, it has not. No, it has not. No, it has not. That's a lie. That is a lie. Nobody can open up anything in my name because all the credit report... And you obviously must not know how this works, sir. So let me explain it to you. Once the credit bureaus are frozen, no one can apply for anything in my name and neither can I. What about your bank account? What about my bank account? Yes, what about your bank account? I know that does, that doesn't froze. Nothing has been opened in my I've name. I've seen on my database right well, now. Well, then somebody's it's lying to you. It, it was a month ago, all right? I've seen everything on my database. It was a month ago. I thought People it was. I thought it was two weeks phone, ago. I thought it was uh, two weeks ago. I thought it was two weeks ago. You said it was two weeks ago. I got the, the the email two weeks ago. Said it was one month ago. All right. That's how our system operates here. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. Go ahead and send your agents. I'll be waiting for them because I know for a fact I didn't do anything. And I'm going to call the police and have my sheriff here to meet you with them. All right. No problem. So, uh, I, we, we all in charge of the police also, all No, right? you're not. No, you're not. That's a lie. You are not. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I got so angry. That's Bobby Miller. It's absolutely Bobby Miller. Oh my God, he called me back and tried to pretend to be the FBI. You know what? I'm calling him back. No, I'm not done with him. What a piece of crap. I'm, I'm going to confront him. Again. Are you there? Did you hang, up, hang the phone up? No, you did, I thought. No, I didn't. Why? Why did I? Why? Why would I end the phone now? Because I'm, I'm angry. Calling. Because I'm angry. That's probably why. Mrs. Billy. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm just calling your phone to notify you about all of those fraudulent activities. All right. I don't want anything to be happening to you. Well, I before your, that, your, let, your me, let me let me let, let me explain this to you. Listen let me to explain me very this. Carefully, no, right? you listen to me. I, I would, my credit was monitored. That's how I knew the Bank of America thing happened. I was instantly I'm notified. I've seen, seen where you're your 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 banking with Bank of America. Yeah, Bobby then, Bobby Miller knew that. That's interesting. Bobby Miller knew who I banked with. Bobby Miller. Mm-hmm. With PCH, the guy who 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 um admitted that he was trying to scam me telling me how bad things were into Jamaica and trying to get me to feel sorry for him after he put after everything he put me through and you sound a lot like him you really do sir so you're accusing me now yeah I, I think I am because now I'm pissed that's bad manners you know that right bad manners it's bad manners to try and steal from people that's bad manners I'm not the one that is stealing from you, Mrs. Bailey. Oh, I'm okay. All right. Wait, here. Let me figure right. this out. Let me okay. let me tell you how this call is going to go down. You want me to be scared and they'll go get money and send you money to, to get rid of all this crap that was going I, on. Is that I, what that I, is? I don't want any money from you, Mrs. Bailey. You cannot pay me. All right? Well, you I want me to pay somebody? You want do money? You a, do you have an active credit card on you right now? No, I do not. Why? So all of, all of your credit card has been frozen? Why? Why? Answer my question, why? Because I just want to notify uh, my manager and check up on my system. So that is the reason why I ask you such questions. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I don't think I want to answer that. I don't think you need to know that. It's none of your business. And you said that all of your credit card has been frozen. So that is the reason that 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 seems. Okay, to me you're that not you're not listening to me. Right. I did not. I never said all my credit cards were frozen. I said all of my credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. That, I'm I not heard. done. All of them I are heard, frozen. I heard that you said all of your credit card has been frozen. That's what no, I, I didn't. I didn't this say credit cards. I said credit bureaus. For then play purposes. it back. I said credit right. bureaus. So I, I, I said TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax more than once to you. They were frozen. Frozen. My credit bureaus are frozen so that nobody can apply for anything, including me. I feel like I'm a broken record repeating this to you.
but you don't get it. Okay, Mrs. Crowley. Okay, I understand, all right? How are you going to get yourself out of this crisis right now? There is no crisis. There is no crisis. Of course this is a crisis. No, it's not. I would have been You're informed. Be okay, and, uh, and before you, and, and, and you interrupted you. me, let, hear me out on this one too. Before you interrupted me, I was just trying to tell you that my creditor is credit is monitored. That's how I found out about the Bank of America. If this PayPal crap that you were telling me and all this other crap would have happened, I would have been notified. I was not. I'm gonna hang up. If you don't listen to me. That's how I yes, knew there was nothing on up. there. Yes, you can hang up. Hang up. Hang up the phone. You're the one that need help, all I right? don't need any help. I'm, I'm here to help you. You're not here to help me, so you can hang the phone up. I'm not going These to be... These charges are not never happened. Marks. These accounts that you said were open, PayPal, never happened because I checked all my credit bureaus. There was never a I'm hard brick. I'm not brick. the one that is going to be behind bars. You're no, I'm one, not. All right? I'm not, go, I'm not going to be behind any up. bars. How much money do you want to, to, me to give you to get out of this supposed crisis? How much money do you want me to give you to get out of this supposed crisis? Because that's what it's coming down to, money. Money. That's what it always comes down to, isn't it? We're not coming down to any money, all right? You just have to pay a clearance fee. To clear clearance up everything fee? Right here, what clearance here fee? That was what PCH said, a clearance fee. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You are Bobby Miller. You, the oh, Mrs. my God. Bailey, you, I almost Would felt you sorry for you. I almost felt sorry for you when you were telling me how bad things were in Jamaica. I actually laid up that night and was thinking about how bad things were for you. I actually felt sorry for you. Bailey, God, I should have never done that. About? Oh, what you know you exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly. Mrs. Bailey, calm down. Who is Bobby Miller? The PCH, is the, the guy Miller? who told that me I won a contest that, and that then tried the to scam me. I've been asking you for a long time. And I told you he's the PCH scammer who tried to get me to believe he was giving me or that I had won a contest and wanted me to send him money. Okay, I'm going to search up that name right now, all right? Whatever. I put him on mute. I am so angry. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't believe him. I can't believe him. He's such a liar. I can't believe he's pulling this. He changed the scam. I need to tell the people that, um... Okay, that's Bobby Miller. To. Hold on. Yeah. I don't see such thing. He well, you know, it, I'm sure it wasn't... I'm sure it was not his real name because criminals never give their real name. They give an alias. You said, you say, you, you said that he's from PCH. Well, of course he wasn't. Uh, that's the publisher's current house. That's right. And first of all, the publisher's current house does not send out calls. All right, that is what uh, I want you to get that right. Okay, the publisher's current house does not send out calls. Oh. The FBI for almost twenty-six years. And I've been getting all of these uh, calls, and they're not real, all right? They're all phony. Well, what else is new? I found that out. Yes. What is it that you want from me? Sorry? I said, what is it that you want from me? I just want you to clear up all the, all the uh, legal documentation. With some kind of clearance Set fee. Free. Set myself free. I don't want the FBI <laughs> to be coming over to your door to step knocking down your door and. I'm not, about it. I'm not worried about it. Stop. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it because it's not going to happen. That's what the Indian scammers tried to say. We're going to come and arrest you. Mm-hmm. Been down this road, buddy. Been down this road. It was not a pleasant experience. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm just here uh, typing up uh, the uh, legal documentation to see what uh, the red flag free fees all for. Hmm. Is this going to take much longer? Because I really need to call my doctor real quick before they close. So are you interested in clear clearing up all of those debts? There are no debts. I keep telling you that. You keep saying you hear me and you understand, but you keep repeating yourself. There is nothing. Nothing. 
there were no hard inquiries for PayPal or anything. And if there had been, I wouldn't have been. A, I would have been identified. There is no fraudulent activity. $2,588. A fee of 2000 And who do I pay that to? Who supposedly does that fee go to? It is going to be a check, all right? Who does the money go to? I'm going to check, check that out right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am so sorry that I ever felt sorry for you, even for the split second that I did it. God, I'm stupid. Are you there? I'm here. Oh, oh my God, really? You are Bobby Miller. I knew it. That was the name he gave me. I have a good memory, dude. Oh my God, I, you just messed up. You messed up and gave yourself away. Why? Why, 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 why? Oh, oh my God. What are you talking about? Yes, you, uh, that's one of the names of the people that was that I was supposed to give the money to. Oh my God. Oh my God and God. You know and you know Mr. what? I just Googled. You know what? What? You know what, Mrs. Bailey? We're going to have all of the department coming over to your residence <laughs> in like two hours right now because I'm just here. Are you guys here taking it? Are you are you are you Jamaican taking scammers notes. taking notes from the Indian scammers saying we're going to start using any desk and we're going to start pretending the FBI is coming to try and scare people because the PCH scams aren't working out for you anymore? Is that what you're doing? I'm just curious. Because that little, that thing, that ain't gonna fly with me. That's what the Indian scammers did. Guess what? They never showed up. I said, send them. They said, oh yeah, we're gonna send them. Nobody ever showed up. So, so you, you, you have two set of people calling you so that the publisher is turned out and the Indian scammers? It, it happens to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're on a do not call list. You guys sell these numbers I found out. You sell numbers to other scammers. Here's a victim. Try them out. Oh my God. That, that, that name that... that Billy, are you talking to yourself? <laughs> I'm talking to you. You're, obviously you're not. You're, Obvi you're shouting. I'm angry at you. I'm angry at you for calling me back and trying to scam you me again. You angry at me, all right? For trying I'm to scam me again. In, in this crisis, all right? There's no crisis. There's no crisis. There's I'm not the one that is putting you through this crisis. There is no crisis. You're going to have it done or not. No, I'm not. Why? Because this is a scam. And I know you're Bobby Miller. And that guy, the name that you gave me that I was supposed to send the money to right now in this call was the same name that you gave me back then. The exact same name. Okay, then. Provide me with all the information uh, they gave to you. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to do that because that person was a criminal too. Tell me the name of... No, I don't have to give you anything. And it's all aliases like I told you. Bobby Miller isn't really Bobby Miller. He's... I don't know what his name is. I don't even care anymore. Why? Because he's trying to rip you all off? Yes. He was so slick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much, money, how much money did he try to take from you? Thousands of dollars. How much money did he try to take from you? I don't remember the exact did amount. It was several thousand dollars. You to, Why? Listen, you need to speak. You need to speak up because you're gonna be arrested no longer than today because you're you have yourself involved in a lot, a lot of. I'll activity. be right back. Hold on. There's somebody at my door. No, it's not the cops. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. It was not the police. It was the mailman handing me a package. But nice try. Oh, and, oh, and oh, I just did a Google search and said, does the FBI call you and ask for money? The U.S. government agencies such as U.S. CIS, the IRS, FBI, etc. will not call you and ask for money or threaten to arrest you. No FBI.gov. FBI.gov says that. Can we, can we send your documents to this number? I guess. Why don't you send them to my um, email instead? Yes, and listen to me very carefully now. This is no jokes, all right? There's no one going to take the phone up and take your money. Hmm. You're in crisis and you're in debt. You need to get this over. And that per that person by the name of Bobby Miller, we need to find that person also. I don't care about him. I don't care if he died yesterday. I really don't. He was scum. He was scum. And I'm positive, I am positive, I'm not the only victim he tried to steal from. 
And you're taking me for a skunk also, right? I'm sorry? And you're, you're taking me for a skunk also. I try to call you and have have you notified about what's going on. You're taking me for a skunk? U.S. government agencies, the FBI will not call you and ask for money or threaten to arrest you. That's exactly what you're doing. No, I no. Listen, no, I'm telling you. Yeah, you just did. You said the cops are going to come a little later than today. And here's your $2,500 fee. You're asking for money and you're threatening to arrest me. Everything the FBI says that you will not do. Warning, be aware of fake scam calls. Ever since Bobby Miller did this to me, I've been doing a lot of research. And you don't trust no one anymore, right? The damn right I don't. So why are you uh, talking to me like this? Because I'm angry because I know I'm that you're here. really Bobby Miller. You giving me that name, you, you giving me that name did it right there. That just sealed the deal. That just sealed the deal. You messed up. You messed up. And giving me an old bank account that you used with PCH scams. You messed up. I can tell, I can tell you the name that Bobby Miller gave you. You I just did. I can tell you right now. We have well, okay, why would because you know that? You okay, time out. You said you had to look him up. You didn't even know who he was. How would you know that? How would you know it? Because, listen to me, because I've sent an email to the publisher's clearance house since we're on the phone and we get all the information. <laughs> okay? And um, did, he, did, he, did, did he have someone else call you another day to try and send money to? Yeah, he's had more than one person call me. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. And did he try to uh, have you get uh, some sort of card? Well, there was all kinds of things involved. It was a mess. And um, did he try to send you to the post office or even your bank? Yeah. Well, we have everything here and um, everything is intact. And um, without you... Okay, well, we now i got to stop you. Okay, you might know the name of the person that uh, Bobby used, that Bobby gave me to send um, the money, but why would you, the FBI, tell me to send my fee to that same account? You were getting ready to do that. Why would you do that? No. Yes, no, you were. No, yes, you were. If I hadn't stopped you, it was my fault. I should have let you give me all the information. I'm done. No. Penny, you're getting, Penny, you're getting it. Penny, you're getting it wrong. Hmm. I don't involve with Mr. Miller. Hmm. There's no way, and, um... And there's no way I'm trying to find who is Mr. Miller because I need to get to Mr. Miller. And without you, we cannot get to Mr. Miller. I don't want to talk to him. I don't. You're not going to get to him through me. Well, without you, we cannot get all the information needed. And if you delete all of those, that means you don't need any help, then, right? I don't need any help. I've already taken care of all this, locking everything down. There is nobody coming to arrest me. That's what you think. That's what you think. But I, that's what not. I know. That's what you that's think. What but I it's know. Not. That's what you think, but it's not. How do you sleep at night, yeah. Bobby Miller? How do you do that? I asked you that when we were going through the PC8 scam. I remember that too. How do you sleep at night? Oh, it's hard here in Jamaica. So you wait a little bit of time and then you and then you call me back and pretend to be somebody else. How do you sleep at night? How do you do that? And you well, know I'm sick. You know I have speaking. cancer. You know it. No, 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 no. You're not getting off the. You're not getting off the hook for this one, buddy. You're not. You know I have cancer, and you prayed on me and prayed on me, and here you are doing it again. Really? You have cancer. You, you have know cancer? I do. You know it. Don't don't play dumb. Stop what it. What kind of cancer? Don't you have? insult my intelligence. Stop it. Just, what kind of cancer you have, Penny? You already know. I've already told you all of this. You got real cozy no, with me we for two weeks. A, listen to me. We, are, we have never been in a relationship. I cannot know anything about you. You can keep pretending if you want to, but I know who you well, are. Well, I'm not going to Well, I'm not gonna pretend. Um, this is my job that I'm doing out here, and I'm not going to pretend like I am a hypocrite or something with you. you and this be, fee, and this fee that the... Okay, even though this right here on the FBI.gov says... We will not call you and ask for money or threaten to arrest you. Where exactly is this fee going to that you want to get from me? I've asked you that several times, too. Well, Penny, why am I going to give all information and you're not interested to have it done? I'm just trying to figure out. Money. I'm just trying to figure you out, man. I'm just trying to figure you Penny, out. I'm, just, I'm trying because, to get in your head and because, figure you out. Because the two of us, because the two of us are doing the same thing here. We need to get to Mr. Miller. And without you, we cannot get to Mr. Miller. 
I can't help you. I don't know him, and I, I don't know who he is. I Like I told you, I blocked all of his numbers, and I don't care what happened to him. You're the person, you're the person who he was uh, talking to, and uh, we need all the information, okay? We need to have we need to have those guys locked up for well, life. Well, do your job. I don't I don't work for the FBI. You do your job and you lock them well, up. Well, you're well, you're in dangerous trouble because you were one of the victims. Why would I okay? be in danger? Why would I be in danger? Because you were in a money launder with them. No, I didn't. No, I never did. He never got my yes, information. You do. Yes, no, you I do. didn't. That's a, to That's a lie too. That's a lie too. That's a lie too. That's a lie too. I never me. gave him the bank Listen. information. Listen to me. Give me a chance to talk. You go to the store to get the card. You were involved. You went to the bank. You were involved. You go to the post office. You were involved. No, sir. I found that, that out. No, sir. Oh, well, you know Listen. everywhere I went. Oh, there it is. You knew I went to Walgreens. You knew I went to the bank. You knew I went to the post office. You keep screwing up. You keep bringing, you keep screwing Penny, up. Because, oh Penny, my gosh. Penny, listen, how many more, how many more, just, how many more screw-ups can you do? The, 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 the person Penny, I was supposed to send them to, then you knew everywhere I went, there's no way. Listen, you mm. just told us all of I didn't tell you all that. I just have given you no details. I gave you yes, no details. And I told you, listen to me, listen. We have uh, conducted the publisher's clearance house in um, Florida. You're in Florida, right? Yep, I am. We can, we know every store, the bank, the post office. We have everything here in front no, of us. No, I'm not stupid. We do this job. Listen, listen I to know me. who I feel sorry for, the victims that are stupid enough to fall for your bullshit. That's who I'm so, I feel well, sorry we're, for. Well, we're on this call for an, uh, almost half an hour. I'm not going to sit around and try to waste my time with you. Yeah, Anything that's happen, funny. Happen for that's you. funny. Bobby, do me a favor and please get a life. Oh my gosh, what a scumbag, what a scumbag. He is a pure scumbag. Oh, well, what do you think, Benji? What do you think, Benj? Do you think he... Do you think he's a terrible person? Do you? Do you think he's a terrible person? He is. He is. <laughs> I know it. I know he is. He's a terrible person. That was so funny. <laughs> I can't believe him. He made my blood boil. Oh my gosh, how? I can't believe you called me back to and pretended to be the FBI. It didn't matter what I said, he was still trying. He must be desperate to even, to even think about calling me back after all this time and waiting and pretending to be the FBI. Well, as Benji said, he's a scumbag share this with anybody that you think might need it and who might be vulnerable show what kind of scumbags they are and and let them know this person was trying to scam me within pch for two weeks yes he was yes it was him don't lie to me you jerk it was him and then he waits and then calls back and pretends to be the fbi it was even his voice i recognized his voice so no be safe out there guys